Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be resetting the adaptions on the transmission in my BMW 760 Ally. Now before we get started, we are going to be using ISTA today. Guys, honestly, if you do not own ISTA, you really need to get it. I get a bunch of questions on a daily basis, many of which can just be answered by scanning your car with ISTA. So I'd highly recommend getting it. There will be a link down in the description box below to a kit which comes with the cables that you need and all of the software that you can need for working on a BMW. We're talking diagnostics, coding and programming. So do yourself a favor, get that kit and then you'd be good to go. Now let's move on to the topic of resetting your adaptions. Is it needed after a service of your transmission? Now, I've not long just done a full service, so I swapped out the fluid, managed to get around seven liters out, then seven liters back in again. Also swapped out the uh, transmission pan, which contains the filter, of course, and also dropped the valve body to uh, swap out the mechatronic sleeves and the bridge seal as well. Now, is it really needed after that? In my opinion, I wouldn't say it is needed. A lot of people swear by that it's crucial to reset the adaptions after you know, servicing the transmission. I don't think it is absolutely crucial at all. I've been driving the car for the past few weeks and I haven't had a single issue. It definitely does seem to shift slightly smoother though, I will say that. But like I said, yeah, I haven't reset the adaptions thus far, so I really don't think it is needed. The adaptions on these transmissions will automatically change over time, you know, depending on your driving style. So no, I don't think it's absolutely crucial to reset the adaptions every time you do a service. Now, is it beneficial to do so? I don't know, maybe we'll find out. Now, when does it make sense to reset your adaptions? Now, this is just my opinion, of course, but if you are doing something like swapping out the valve body or the mechatronics unit itself, which is essentially the brain of the transmission, the ECU, if you like, then yes, you will need to reset the adaptions and you'll more than likely need to do the relearning procedure as well which is quite a lengthy procedure. You have to uh, do a road test, which takes up to around an hour. And uh, you have to do a lot of driving, uh, a lot of stop, start driving. You have to shift through the gears at, at certain speeds and certain RPMs. And um, yeah, that's quite a lengthy process. That is not what we are going to be doing today. Today, we're gonna to be using ISTA. And um, yeah, it's actually fairly easy to just do a simple reset of the adaptions. So without further ado, let's get outside and let's get cracking. Okay, so let's get started then. As you can see, I have ISTA loaded up on the laptop. I have my DCAN cable plugged into the OBD port down there. I'm just going to insert the key and turn the ignition on. And now we'll move over to the laptop and I'll show you exactly what you need to do in ISTA itself. Okay, so here we are in ISTA then, and the first thing we are going to want to do is read out vehicle data. It's something that you have to do to pretty much do anything in ISTA, to be honest. It's essentially where all of your modules get scanned and you are made aware of any fault codes that exist. Okay then, so once you have scanned all of your modules, we can now see if we have any error codes. So if you just go to display fault memory, we can see we just have three fault codes here. The bottom two, I know about them, is because the nav unit is unplugged. And the top one, AUC sensor, very common issue with pretty much any BMW today, to be honest. So we're just gonna forget about that. To access your transmission, if you go to service functions, and then powertrain, then transmission control, adjustment, and then you are going to want to go to display and reset adaption values. Now we can see we have nothing in this box here. Now I thought that may be the case. Perhaps we are unable to do it with this BMW 7 series which is strange 
yeah we seem to have nothing displayed in here so I'm not too sure why that is if we can't do it in ISTA we should be able to do it in INPA now I'm not too sure if this is because it's a 2003 model or what but this is where you should be able to reset the adaption values it's pretty self-explanatory from here really you just select display and reset adaption values then you'd um, click reset adaption values and then you just follow the on-screen instructions but like I said we don't appear to have that option here which is very strange it's the first time I have ever seen that in this case then we will exit out of ISTA and give IMPA a shot So we'll load up INPA now and then we will go to our chassis which is E65, it's technically an E66 but E65 it is and then go to transmission of course, a gearbox control module. Yes I know language variants do not match and then we want to go to activate I believe yes here we are and then it's very simple here really we just need to go to reset adaption values F3 or just click down here and there we go the adaption values have been cleared job done we can just exit out of here and then we can switch the engine off Okay, so not really the end result that I was hoping for. I was hoping that I would have been able to do it through ISTA so I could see the current uh, adaption values and then obviously we would have reset them essentially to zero. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, I couldn't do that through ISTA. We managed to do it very, very easily through IMPA though. And that's actually the second time that's happened with the BMW 7 Series. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's because it's an 03 model and um, the functions that you can do with ISTA, with it being such an old car, are relatively basic. You know, when it comes to my BMW E87 and E60, the functions are very, very vast, and um, that's kind of where it comes into a world of its own. But yeah, that's the second time I've had to revert back to IMPA now, so it's kind of a good idea to have both pieces of software, both IMPA and ISTA, if you have an earlier model BMW, IMPA is probably going to be your best friend. If you have a later model BMW, then ISTA is probably going to be your best friend. But um, yeah, I guess it's time to just wait and see now, really, if we notice any difference with, in terms of you know drivability, in terms of the gear shifts, if they feel any smoother. And um, yeah, it's just a waiting game. So I hope this video has been somewhat helpful anyway. Like I said, it wasn't the end result we was hoping for. But please give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!